Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are continuing One Punch Man Season 2 episode number 4. <laughs> the last episode was so good man, Season 2 is fantastic. We ended the episode with Saitama karate chopping uh, Garo and he became completely unconscious man. That was so fucking hilarious. And yeah, just as I like to say... Uh, all these characters and their fights are interesting until Saitama appears and it seems like Garu is not an uh, exception. But we will see, we will see what happened next. I really like that he became known as a hero hunter. So essentially, <sighs> Garu is a really interesting character. He, he likes monsters, man. He wants to be listed as a monster in that book that he was uh, asking that kid to read. It was the book about the heroes, right? Where you can read all sorts of information about heroes, where they usually patrol and stuff. And that kid's favorite was Lightning Genji, right? And he was uh, asking the kid about it. He was polite to the kid. He was chill. So it's not like he's big, bad, evil. He's just hunting heroes because he prefers monsters. And... I find that very interesting. I'm very intrigued by Garo. And they mentioned how uh, he's especially dangerous to heroes because he is a human. He's not like a monster. He actually knows techniques to fight other humans. And that is very dangerous, man. He practices the same style as Bang, Water Crushing Rock. And he went nuts on Tank Top Master and his gang. That was brutal, man. My man Moomin Rider as well. My heart breaks when I see him like that, man. Getting his head smashed against the ground. So yeah, Garo does not discriminate. He doesn't care if you are S or C. He beat up those C heroes as well. He beat up Charanko. Props to Charanko, though. Even though he witnessed what Garo did, he still wanted to challenge him. Bang also beat the shit out of Charanko and expelled him from the dojo, but it was actually for his safety. And there comes Bomb, Bang's older brother, who is like wind style. A bang is water and Bomb is like whirlwind, right? So that's very interesting. It goes to show you how seriously Banks takes this. Yeah, Garu also took on Golden Ball and Spring Mustachio, bro. He's going crazy man he is a really really interesting character with cool character design and his ost his team is godly bro <laughs> i added his team to my playlist as well it's just so good so yeah it looks like saitama is going to participate in tournaments of sorts it's a mixed martial arts tournament and he's actually interested in learning martial arts <clears throat> and now that i think about it Saitama does not possess knowledge of martial arts. He's just super strong, but he doesn't know all these techniques and different fighting styles. Not like it's going to matter anyway <laughs> to him, but yeah, it's interesting to see Saitama being interested in martial arts. So I wonder how will that go down. Super excited to watch more. So without further ado, let's jump into episode number four. Let's begin, guys. Okay, everything is ready. Let's go. Oh, are we going to see Garo as a kid? The lame theme song when Justice Man appears. <laughs> oh wow, he really did the wrong with the heroes. Wow, and because heroes always win, he probably witnessed a lot of these scenes. I was literally wondering about why he loves monsters so much. Well, I guess. What an interesting way of thinking, bro. Wow, so I guess Garo is not going anywhere, bro. He's going to continue. 
<laughs> oh my god, he's in the trash, bro. Now I want to see what does Garo think about Saitama. Oh, that was the guy. Yeah, who cares about him? From the last episode. Yeah, class says hero. The metal bat. Metal bat is class says hero. I hate that sound. Yeah, King is on his list as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's a call from association. <laughs> He's technically not lying, right? In a game. So Metal Bat took the job instead of King. Peasant food, oh wow. So he needs to protect this rich father and child. Yeah, <laughs> am I in hell? Yeah, I would be fucking annoyed by this as well. That you're not supposed to do that. Oh my god, this is going to be so annoying. Holy shit, yeah, stop putting that shit back. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh shit. <laughs> she wants to go shopping. Oh my god, she gonna come. Nakitaino,こっちだぜ。幹部の頼み事はもう二度と受けてやらねえ。Oh shit! No, it's not Garo. Oh, <laughs> random monsters. Oh shit, look at him, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah. To stick better. Super fight. Oh, transition to Saitama. Fighting style. <laughs> He's sweating. これが今回のトーナメント評価。お、シードか。ってことはこのバクザンってやつが強いのかな。バクザン。逆の山だとスイリウってやつがシードなのか。いやお前チャランクだよね。いやお。本人の知り合いか。おお、シード。まさかセル
Wow, and Bang was not present. Mojo. Oh my god, boy, is he in for a surprise? ちょうしに乗るのするかもしれないと。まあ、万が一あんなとこに素人なんか出てってみろ。間違いなく殺される。心配。ああ、いや。いや、スウィートサマーチャイルド。ヒーローだから。一番弟子はこの俺、苦
Okay, I underestimated Metal Bet, bro. <laughs> this guy is literally called Pineapple. I guess that's his hero name. Class B. Pineapple. And we have Class C. Mohican. <clears throat> A job is done, boys. Not like you could do anything against the monsters, but we appreciate the effort. And yeah, this goes well with what they were been saying. There is a lot of monster appearing recently. What the fuck? Another one! How many of these fucking centipedes? Elder centipede! Red level dragon? Oh, this is Elder indeed, bro. What a fucking creepy face, bro. Look at the size of that thing, bro. It's like Shenron from Dragon Ball, even bigger than a dragon, bro. What the hell? It feels like another face or something. Now nah, this one is super scary. Oh shit! Ah, you can hear it vibrating. Yeah, <laughs> look at the face! Bro, Metal Bat is badass. I officially like this guy. Oh my god, is he gonna smack it? Killer Moon, nice! <laughs> Whoa, Dragon Pummeling. It's going crazy. Undulation, what is that? I mean... I see why is this a dragon level threat. This thing can destroy a city easily. Oh shit. Oh my god. Now is the first time for Metal Bat to run into Garu, bro. <laughs> he is not defeated. My second class says, oh fuck. <laughs> you serious, dumbass? Holy shit, no! But nice block, though. Oh my god, this thing. <laughs> oh my god, bro. No, don't. Oh my god, next episode's gonna be wild, bro. There is a bunch of badass characters in One Punch Man, bro. Metal Bat is dope. Alright, another interesting episode, guys. We got to see at the very beginning of the episode little Garo watching a show with heroes and monsters. And he was wondering why do heroes always have to win and Justice Man appears always at the perfect time and defeats the monster. And he was basically saying, what about monsters? They try hard as well to reach, achieve their goals. What about their feelings? It makes sense why he likes monsters more than heroes. He thinks monsters are cooler. But at the same time, is that really a good thing? I guess it can be seen as Garo like, being very gentle-hearted and trying to understand monsters' feelings, right? So he became upset with all these heroes that are always like winning and are super strong and he wants to fight as a monster and I guess prove a point that monsters are cooler and stronger than heroes but again I don't think that he is evil that he would kill people or do anything like that he does beat up these heroes pretty badly but so far 
it looks like he didn't kill anyone. And we saw his targets he scratched a golden ball and spring mustachio. We saw that king is there and we saw a glimpse of watchdog man and Tatsumaki in there as well. So every hero is on his list. And he met with that kid one more time and he was kid was like let's read it together and he was super chill and friendly towards that kid. It's not like He's forcefully taking his book or anything he even asks, so that's why I think that Garo is really interesting character. So for example, if this kid was attacked by a monster or something, I think that Garo would actually protect the kid. I can't really tell what what is his goal. I, I It's kinda hard. His actions are kinda hard to read. But, uh, one thing is for sure, he wants to hunt down these heroes and beat each and every one of them. I really like the way Char uh, Moomin Rider is speaking about Saitama and uh, Charanko will get recognized after this martial art tournament as a super strong dude. I can already picture that. We saw like this guy Sourface who is also part of uh, Banks Dojo and he got fucked up by Garo. Garo was basically saying, I don't have anything uh, new to learn here. I, I've been taught already everything from this dojo, so I'm going to leave it. And he beat the shit out of everyone and left. And he won the tournament as well. He participated as a wolf man. He had a mask. Really interesting stuff, man. And it ties perfectly with, uh, with what Hero Association has been talking about recently how the monster appeared uh, more often than usual and we see these centipedes, these creatures going after people from Hero Association. And that guy, director, that got uh, attacked by Garo last episode was one of them. And in this episode we have this uh, child and father, rich people who look down uh, on everyone they're calling uh, sushi like peasant food they are just disgusting man but yeah uh, that's not the point the point is that these monsters are going after hero association workers executives there uh, he uh, his father the rich guy is executive of hero association so i find that really interesting something is cooking something is cooking behind the scenes for sure metal bed is fucking awesome man i like how he I think that he mentioned Little Sister even in that meeting in season 1, so she called him and he was like, uh, he didn't want to reveal the location where he is, he probably thinks that she will come there. I really liked how he took all that damage and he was like, okay, now my fighting spirit is up and he fucked them up. It's almost like he needed those slaps and everything too. And even the centipede said he got stronger, so it's like... It, it fuels him and I really like that. It's like the more he fights, the stronger he gets and I really like that. Garo now, in the worst moment possible, attacked him, man, when he disposed of two centipedes and few of those monsters and now there is this like huge centipede, elder centipede, which looks absolutely scary and disgusting and it's a dragon level threat and I can see why it can just like destroy the, the whole city if that thing wanted to do it but yeah Garo is now in the mix and he immediately attacked Metal Bat he has no chill and it looks like next episode is going to be wild so yeah can't wait that's all for today thank you for watching guys I hope that you enjoyed if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always Check out my Patreon page if you want to see a few episodes early. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.